Welcome, welcome. Welcome back to another episode of Goosin' with Jay. I had a couple of videos that I had already edited, but uh, making space on my phone, I accidentally deleted them. So now this is a brand new live update. It's going to pretty much be a gardening update, but I will be posting a juice video this week. I repeat, I will be posting a brand new juice video this week. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead, hit that button, hit that subscribe button, help me to grow the page. If you haven't forwarded this to a friend or a family member, go ahead and do that now. Help me to grow this page. I'm really trying to uh, inspire people to eat well, garden, and just overall put a, a emphasis on health with all this pandemic, coronavirus, COVID-19 situation going on. So it was gonna be a quick gardening update. The garden is doing extremely well. And I wanna thank everybody who have subscribed to the video and have been commenting on the videos and you know, being a part of the gardening life or the gardening gardening experience with me. I sent out a care package uh, to Pixie. I hope you enjoyed all squash. Uh, and if you're a part of this YouTube page and, and family, uh, YouTube will be uh, able to access whatever I grow inside the garden, even if I have to put it in the, in the mail and send it off to you. Uh, I won't be able to eat everything. So, you know, who else to share it with than the people who are on, you know, the page and following through the process and trying to get the information. So today I'm in all black long sleeve shirt because uh, mosquitoes are, 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 are going crazy in the garden. I haven't had any still water or anything like that, but they're still out here. So I'm just gonna give you guys a quick update and let you guys see like what's been growing in the garden and what hasn't been growing in the garden. All right. So the watermelons are doing pretty good. This is the watermelons that I put inside the raised bed. They've been doing pretty good. They're still growing. Uh, vines are looking real healthy. We got a couple of questionable uh, leaves over here, but I'll tend to those later. Blueberries are still alive. And this is the mint that I, I planted in the last video. So I put it in a pot and I put it into the bed to hopefully to keep the cats out. And I will still take a look at that uh, sonic uh, contraption that uh, Sabrina uh, recommended in, in the comments. And then we got some uh, beets, some more tomatoes popped up. And here we have some some summer squash. So that's looking good. You see a lot of flowers and a lot of potential uh, squash coming up. Take a good look right there. And then purchased this from Lowe's and it grew. And as you can see, we have a lot of habanero peppers coming. It's a lot of habaneros coming, so I'm super excited about that. A lot of buds, a lot of buds on the tree. So we got a lot of habaneros coming. Super excited about that. This is the raspberry. It's doing well. One yellow leaf, I'll get to that later. <sighs> Blackberries, doing well. You can always refer back to the old videos that I've posted to see where I've come. This is one of what survived from what uh, Pixie uh, gifted to me. So that's doing well. Thank you, Pixie. I'll make sure I put her Facebook link uh, down in this video. And then we have some squash. So I know I planted a variety of different squash, so I can't even begin to tell you what kind this is but it's de definitely different from the other varieties that I have. So we have some squash. The tomatoes are doing really, really, really good. The shard is doing really, really good. 
I've actually clipped and uh, cooked and eaten some of this shard already. So this is doing good, more tomatoes. And then this is one of the, the uh, squash plants that was the latest to flower. So we got some squash coming here, lots of flowers. I thought this was watermelon, but it's starting to look more like a cantaloupe. And hopefully uh, that'll get a little bit bigger. It has been growing, but growing slowly. So a lot of flowers, a lot of flowers, pollinators in there doing what they do. So a lot of flowers there. One of my favorite things in the garden is the pomegranate. And this is looking really, really bountiful. So a lot of pomegranates on the tree, lots of pomegranates on the tree. They kind of blended it with the tree so you won't really be able to see it unless if I zoom in on it but it's looking bountiful a lot of pomegranates everywhere another one of my pride and joys the avocados I had many blossoms but only three avocados and this has been my project for the whole most of the gardening experience is this dragon fruit trying to get it to fruit now i've been putting a bunch of fertilizer on it at least every 7 to 14 days and today is the day that i fertilize but if you go back and watch the videos you'll see that i trimmed this dragon fruit completely i trimmed it completely and all i was able to do is actually put new growth on it so this is all new growth go back check out the videos i gave it a, a, a major trim and this is all new growth, no flowers. So hopefully next year. This is a fertilizer. This is the red flesh. And as you can see, that's, that's new growth coming. This is the replanted sweet potatoes. So after I rooted them, I replanted, I replanted them back into the same bucket. So they're looking really, really healthy. Really, really healthy. So I like that sugar cane took off so this is the sugar cane with the since I've been fertilizing I just went ahead and just threw some some fertilizer on that also and now this is the spaghetti squash and this is a really 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 healthy plant it just really turned this part of the garden into a jungle so I'm going to step back so you can see what it looks like really really healthy a lot of spaghetti squash coming off of here and let me bring it around the back so you can see the behemoth. Look at this, big, healthy. Look. Let's come around this side so you guys can see how huge these are. You can see the family of 10, all right? And we got one of the smaller ones down here at the bottom. Yeah, so that's pretty much the update. I'm gonna start uh, working in the garden right now, picking weeds. I had already started, but I decided to stop and uh, shoot this little updated video, show you guys what's been going on within the garden. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Help me to grow the page. Forward it to, you know, friends and family. And uh, each one teach one. I'll see you on the next video. This week, this week, I'll drop two videos. This one today and another one later on during the week. I got some delicious juices lined up for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that last video. Juicing for the low. I, I had a lot of fun uh, doing that video, but it was a lot of work. <laughs> Cutting up melons was no joke. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, each one, teach one. And I'll see you on the next video.